All right, so we're at uh, JVC, and uh, so you have uh, this, this, this technology of uh, rear projection TV. Yes. So can you explain a little bit how it works? Yeah, it's the uh, same technology as we use in our projector, called yeah? DELI. And uh, the, the basic idea is that we have the, the lens format in the side of the TV and project it into uh, some kind of a mirror. Yeah. And that way around, we project it up to the screen. And doing that way, we have a totally sharp picture, also in the corner, which is normally uh, the weak side of the back projection TV. Right. And another benefit is it's quite small uh, compared with other back, uh, back, uh, back projection TV. Yeah. It's only about 30 uh, centimeters deep. Yeah. So it's quite slim of a All right. uh, back projection TV. And it's uh, much cheaper than, uh, is it, or is it cheaper than LCD and plasma and all that? Uh, I would say so, because uh, in this we have uh, 68 inch, yeah. and the price is around uh, 5,000 5, euro. Yeah. So it's quite cheap compared with other back projectors, or LCD or yeah. plasma TV. And, and for that example that one, approximately how much does it cost? This one is around 4,000 4, euros. 4, and it's uh, how many inch? Uh, 58 inch. 58 inch? Yeah. Right. And then uh, you're also showing the 100 megahertz technology? Yeah. We are the first in the world to introduce 100 hertz technology uh, three years ago. And now we have the third generation uh, called P series. Yeah. And the uh, gear motion drive is quite unique technology where we actually copy the picture that has been here, we copy it and put it in between the next picture. And that way around we get a quite smooth uh, movement, sidewise especially. Uh, on the new V-series, we also have not, not only uh, uh, vertical but also horizontal uh, technology. So it works both ways, you can see, and even from the corner yeah. and up here it works smoothly. Uh, so you can say that now we can really say yeah. that 100 hertz is is not the, only a gimmick, but it's you say it's new. This one is brand new. It's brand new. Brand new technology. Yeah, I mean, the motion drive too. But did you just show it at IFA? Or, or yeah, it's, it's been a little bit. The production is starting now, and it's in the market this month. This month so, it starts. Yeah. So it yeah. Is, Totally new. All right. So, for example, you can you get uh, like 42 inch or how big is this? It's 42 and yeah. 47 inch. Yeah. And is it a good price? Uh, I think so. Yeah. It would be approximately around 2,000 euro. 2,000 for 42 inch. Yeah. yeah? And two and a half. Yeah. Uh, Three thousand for. All right. For, uh, so you have also the world's best uh, projector? Yes, we, have, we just won a Chiba award yeah. uh, for this projector this year. And yeah. uh, we was a little disappointed that we don't get the ISA award, but I think there's something between Chiba and ISA. Uh, I don't know, it's some kind of competition, but right. we should have won, no yeah. doubt about it, because it is the worst. Best. It's the best 1080p projector in the world. I mean, it's... Seriously, it yeah? is the best. It is the best. Honestly speaking. Especially on this price setting, yeah. because it's quite a consumer price setting, you can say. Yeah. The price is around 5,000 euro. All right. Of course, it's not a cheap projector, but it is the best projector. Really. All right. Nice. And uh, this is kind of a new, it's quite new, no? Yeah, this is our full HD camcorder, consumer yeah. camcorder. And uh, we are the first to show a consumer full HD camcorder with 1920. Uh, 1080, yeah? Yeah. It's interlaced, uh, it has a 60 gigabyte uh, hard disk, uh, so it's very convenient. You don't have to use tape or DVD, whatever. You just record yeah. on the hard disk and burn it over to this system, and then you still have full HD. Uh, yeah. uh, so it's like uh, MPEG 2 it's MPEG 1080 2. I yes. resolution, yes. yeah? Yes. And uh, what is the bitrate? It's up to 27. 27 megabits. Yes. And that format, can you play it back on... Uh, do, do you need a fast computer to play it back? Or can you use... Uh, you cannot use a Blu-ray player or something? You, you just burn it by over to this. Yeah. And then you have a normal uh, DVD. Of course, you have to play back on this uh, particular yeah. one. Uh, otherwise, you can also put the HDMI cable directly to the TV and see it. 
you can make a playlist inside the camera. Right. So you don't have to edit on the computer, yeah. you can just make your own playlist and show yeah. five minutes from this uh, holiday or from this birthday or whatever and put yeah. this together in the camera. All right. the camera. So it's quite convenient to say. And uh, we are using uh, Fuino. Fuino is a uh, well-known uh, uh, optical lens, you yeah. can say, from uh, one of the be uh, best providers. It's used for broadcasting or Hollywood movies and so on. The, the best camcorders are using Fuino. I know right. other brands use Carl Zeiss or whatever. It's also very good. Yeah. But the, the, the benefit for Carl Zeiss is yeah. still pictures. All right. When it's still pictures, it's good. If it's, there's something it's, moving, Fuino is, Fuino is, is the, the best. best. The best. And it's consumer friendly price? I would say so. Yeah. We talk here about uh, 2,000 euro for the, for, for yeah. the big one and uh, around 1,200 euro. For a little brother that we just introduced down here on EFA. Yeah. What 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 is the difference? Uh, and is it the gigabyte difference or? Uh, prob probably the size you can say, and uh, also that it's uh, recording on uh, 44, uh, 1080, compared yeah. with the other one that's 1920. You know, so it's, it's a yeah. little bit smaller, not yeah. only size-wise but also technical-wise. But yeah. anyway, it's price-wise is. Cheaper. Cheaper. Now we have right. two, two full HD uh, camcorders. All right. Thanks.